Alrighty, everybody. College basketball has entered its 10th week. I know, right? Crazy. You know, we got a quick little... There's actually a lot that happened in week, the ninth week of the season, so we'll go over a lot of this stuff, because a lot happened in the first true week of conference play. You know, I mean... Uh, the, th the things that really got crazy was, you know, Monday night, you know, Johnny Davis, the Badgers, they were able to, <clears throat> they were able to upset Purdue. Johnny Davis had a monster 37 perform performance. You know, he also had 19 against Maryland in the game that just finished up uh, a few minutes ago. So, you know, there's that. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I, can, I can honestly tell you, like, the Badgers were able to stymie Purdue at several different opportunities. They, they, I mean, we're talking Wisconsin was pretty much in control of this game from beginning to the end. I mean, they were getting the steals. They were getting the plays. You know, they were making the plays. And, and I mean, yeah, Johnny Davis had that monster performance, just a monster performance. Again, that's not all he did. I mean, he put up another, put up another 19 on Maryland tonight. So, that. It's going to be crazy. Purdue is going to be moving down, you know, the polls a little bit, maybe. I mean, they were able to barely get by Penn State to, on Saturday, too. So, Purdue was. So, you know, thing, things are getting a little interesting in the Big Ten because a lot of things have happened. You know, that was one of the biggest ones here, you know. Um, there was also a game in which, you know, again, the West Coast Conference was impacted a lot by Corona Chan. Her wrath shows no signs of slowing down. And San Francisco and Loyola Chicago decided to meet in a game in a rinky dink little gym in Utah. And I forgot what the result of that game was because I didn't watch that game because it was like two o'clock in the afternoon. You know, I was like, um oh uh, I, I totally forgot this thing was thing. And that that was intriguing. What is intriguing is about, you know, the new conference mate that Loyola Chicago will have. Murray State, yeah. We're moving to the Missouri Valley next year. Um, this was this has been a long time coming. The Racers, you know, obviously, you know, were a team that have they, they wanted to get into the Missouri Valley for years and years now. They finally get their opportunity. That that does raise a question in football for the OVC, but we're not gonna talk about football here. We we talk about football almost all the time on this channel. You know, it, during this time, so you know, Murray State for this basketball team, the Racers here, you know, they got a good program. They always got a good program. They've had a good program for the last decade or so, last two, two or three decades. They are going to have a good time in the Missouri Valley. There's also some more Missouri Valley expansion type stuff, but we'll see what happens there. You know, we'll, we'll await and see. You know, because remember, Loyola Chicago, you know, moved on to the A-10, you know, they, they're moving on to the A-10, so, yeah, um, let's talk about the SEC, let's talk about it, because LSU's defense, they were able to keep Oscar Sheepway and company contained in a game that was real, real interesting, a real interesting game in which LSU upset Kentucky, it wasn't really an upset, I mean, not really, they also beat Tennessee, but, I mean, again, you know, this is a Tennessee team that I just am not very high on. A lot of people aren't high on this Tennessee team. You know, LSU, they got through the gauntlet. Sure, they lost to Auburn, but they got through, you know, some of their bigger tests. And this week, you know, for the Tigers, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a little smoother, I think. But I don't know yet because, I mean, we got a long week to go. We got a long week to go. I mean, uh, there's also Kobe Brown. And the Missouri Tigers, a Missouri Tigers team that really hasn't, I don't think we've talked about it at all on this channel, but he put up 30 points on Bama. And now, you know, Alabama, you know, despite having two of the biggest wins this season, also has some very, very questionable losses. You know, Memphis, this loss here against Missouri, Iona. I mean, they, they Bama has a lot, but they also have some losses that are just like, huh? Why'd you lose this game? And it's like, you know, again, you know, they got the Houston win, too. I mean, the, the, 
which I mean, honestly, if you if you really if you really want to talk to me, I think they should have lost that game against Houston. But uh, it was a good ass game, you know, way back when, you know, a couple weeks ago in between Alabama and Houston. Uh, but this this right here, you can't give up. Th- is Missouri even known for their basketball program? I mean, they got whipped by Kansas. I, I do remember that they got whipped by the Kansas Jayhawks a couple weeks ago, and and <laughs> you're telling me that. You know, Missouri beat Alabama. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. You know? Oh, yeah, we need to go back to the Big Ten real quick because Trace Jackson Davis was a monster against Ohio State, too. I mean, Indiana, you know, they beat Ohio State. You know, they beat them. I mean, again, Ohio State hasn't really played that much, you know, since, you know, like early uh, mid-December. They haven't really played that much since mid-December. So this... Maybe it's a surprise, maybe not. But the Hoosiers, but yeah, Trace Jackson Davis has been a damn good. It's been a damn good star. I don't know why we haven't talked about him at all. Maybe he's been a damn good guy, you know, playing for Indiana, you know, for the past couple of years now. Um, let's go back up to the Big Twelve real quick because we got a lot to talk about there before we talk about one of the bigger upsets because there was a couple of a more upset this week as well. Um, I don't know what Iowa State Texas Tech was. It was terrible. I'll tell you that much. I I, I just do not know how Iowa State was barely able to hang on to win by four. And I get it. Texas Tech is you know, they don't have Terrence Shannon. They don't, they don't have two of their biggest guys. But you know what Texas Tech did do? They beat Kansas. And then Iowa State proceeded to you know not only get throttled by Oklahoma. I mean. Oklahoma shot 61% from the field on them. 61%, that's usually, that, that's that's not a number that happens that often in college basketball. We're talking especially college basketball. You, you shoot 62% from the field? That doesn't happen very often. And that's exactly what Oklahoma did to Iowa State. They beat them bad. They whipped them. They whipped them bad. You know, the Cyclones, they got a big test on Tuesday against Kansas. They you know, they got a big test Saturday as well. So Iowa State's going to be a real fun team to watch throughout the week because they go through a, a gauntlet themselves. I mean, they, the Big 12 is going to be a gauntlet. Like I've been continuing to say all season long, Baylor was barely able to get out of, you know, things unscathed. I mean, TCU, TCU ain't no joke. <laughs> TCU ain't no joke, man. And speaking of a team that wasn't a joke, Oklahoma State's defense, my goodness. That's how you shut down Marcus Carr. That's how you shut down this Texas offense, which just can't seem to gel together at all. I don't understand why this offense can't seem to gel together. Get something going. I just don't understand it at this point. Like Texas was due for another loss at this point because, I mean, they were barely able to get by Kansas State, West Virginia with absolutely – those two teams absolutely had no players. They really had nobody – on their teams in those two games. So the fact that Oklahoma State was able to not only steal and block, you know, keep Texas from scoring, they were able to, you know, keep, you know, keep this Texas defense contained as well. Because I mean, again, Oklahoma State was getting the shots. They were getting, they were getting everything in that game. They were getting everything. It's a day of shame. It's a day of shame. Texas is going to fall a little bit. They again, this big game against Iowa State on Saturday. They all, uh, well, I mean, this is going to be a big week for the Big 12, as usual. I mean, it's just going to be a gauntlet for the Big 12, man. Uh, unfortunately, Colorado State, you know, their first game back in quite some time, they got whipped by San Diego State. I mean, this was just, uh, they also were losing. They also, you know, didn't really have any help. They, their top two scorers were able to do stuff. But the rest of the team for the Rams, absolutely nothing. And that, that, that was just a microcosm of what happened to them like it's San Diego State, you know. And then a big one, a true big upset, Miami. Somehow they're undefeated in the ACC. They have a win against Wake Forest, by the way. And Wake Forest is, they got, they, got a, they, they got a pretty solid season themselves, you know. Again, the ACC is not going to be a one-bit league. We, we're all like, we're, we're all joking about that, but they're not going to be a one-bit league. But this is a huge, huge victory for Miami. They upset to, you know, it, it, it was just crazy, like, like Miami. You don't you don't really think Miami would be able to upset Duke, but I mean, here they are, 
They did. They got him. So anyway, back to what I was saying about this week. We got a big week this week. We got a big week. Um, Ohio State Wisconsin gets their. That's the second leg of their matchup. They they matched up way back when in December. I remember watching that game, and I remember watching that game in December. And it not going well for Wisconsin. So can things, you know, change? Can they stop EJ Liddell this time? Can they stop, you know, Ohio State? Because, I mean, again, Ohio State really hasn't played that much throughout, you know, the last few weeks or so, you know. So this is a big one. Uh, there's also, again, the Big 12 is just going to be a gauntlet this week. I mean, we got Iowa State, Kansas, Texas Tech, Baylor, Oklahoma, Texas on Tuesday, and then Saturday, Texas, Iowa State. Just a huge week for the Big 12. I mean, just a huge week. I'm going to try and look ahead, you know, at this Oklahoma team. Because, I mean, again, I was really going to watch the Oklahoma-Iowa State game. But I just did not watch it for some reason. I knew I knew something was wrong. You know, the, the way the way Saturday went for me was not what I wanted. <laughs> it was not what I wanted at all. So, you know, I, I ended up not watching that game. And it ended up being a good decision because, I mean, Iowa State got whipped by Oklahoma. Um, there's also, you know, a couple of SEC games at Auburn, Alabama, the Iron Bowl of college basketball, I guess. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see, you know, how this goes because Alabama needs to bounce back, you know. And this is a big-time test. I mean, Auburn has, you know, Bruce Pearl and company have really gotten it together over the first few weeks of the season. They've really gotten it together in a big way. I mean, again, that LSU victory was huge. I mean, Jabari Smith has just been on a tear. Mance has been on a tear. And the rest of Auburn, you know, the rest of the Tigers have also been on a tear. Good team there. Uh, Villanova Xavier, too. Um, trying to trying to find a way because, I mean, they, 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 put, they put this game so early. Like, why you, like why does um, Fox Sports want to put this game so early? Like, 5.30? It, it's too early for that, man. It's too early. Uh, whatever, man. And then, of course, you know, Saturday going to be packed as usual. Well, kind of. Not really packed, you know. We got the NFL on Saturday, you know. The NFL supersedes anything college basketball related here on this channel. So, you know, that's going to be my Saturday, at least. Tennessee, Kentucky, we're going to try and see, you know, what Tennessee, what kind of offense Tennessee can get. Because, I mean, again, Tennessee has just not had a good season so far. And, you know, Texas, same thing. Not had a good season. They don't have a win. You know, they don't have a signature win. Stanford doesn't really count. That does not count as a signature win. The Pac-12 <laughs> uh, really only has like three or four teams, you know, that can really, you know, say, hey, this is a tournament-type team, you know, right now. You know, and it just that's just my opinion. USC is still undefeated, too. So let's not let's stop forget about them. And, of course, Gonzaga, you know, they're still hanging it up out west. You know, they're, they're still doing their thing out west. So, you know, we'll see, you know, how this week goes. Uh uh, if there's any other big games this week, um, you know, I'll be hoping, I'll be trying my best to watch them. But, you know, definitely Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, then, you know, of course, Saturday, going to be a huge week in college basketball. I cannot wait to talk to y'all again next Sunday night. And I'll see you all then next Sunday night. And let's have a, let's have a good time. And let's have a good time because we got a long week ahead. Take care, everybody.